Hi, my name is Eng, and I'm going to tell you about um, plug-and-play generative networks. A grand challenge in the field of image generative modeling is to scale to large-scale data set like ImageNet, where images are of high resolution and highly variable. Um, State-of-the-art models often struggle in producing images with correct counts, with correct perspectives, and coherent global structures. In cases when they do generate high-quality images, they often fail to capture the image diversity in the data set, a problem called mode collapse. In this work, we take a step towards solving this challenge by proposing plug and play generative networks. PPGN can generate high quality, high resolution images for 1,000 classes in the data set with one single model, here Redshank, Ant, and Monastery. Note that these images are of size 227 by 227, which is considered high resolution in generative models. For some class like Volcano here, we see a huge diversity. Um, one can see mountains with snow, uh, lava, um, against the blue sky and sunset, and so on. Um, compared to state-of-the-art conditional generative models, um, state-of-the-art generative models are often trained end-to-end -end with a generator taking in a condition vectors and outputting an image. Here we take a radically different and modular approach by combining two different networks. Um, the generator can be thought of as a generic painter that draws a wide variety of images and shows them to the condition network, which uh, look at the image and tells the generator what to draw next. For example, images that look more like volcanoes. And this process is iterative. Let's say we want to condition on one single class, then the condition network would be an image classifier. Um, we then sample from the join model of image and class, which naturally decomposes into an image prior and um, a conditional model. Let's look at how we generate samples. The center video here shows images from an MCMC sampling chain conditioned on class Junco. Um, in every update, we encourage the image to be realistic, class specific, and diverse. One can see the sampling chain mixes well uh, from one mode to another, uh, perhaps because we sample in the lower dimensional latent space. Um, in all previous results, both the generator and the classifier would train on the same data set of ImageNet. Now with PPGN, we can interestingly swap in a pre-trained classifier for MIT places and start producing images for categories of uh, places here that the generator has never seen before. Um, similarly, we can also swap in an image captioning network and turn the system into a text-to-image system. Um, basically, we allow users to describe uh, the image they want to synthesize. A red car parked on the side of a road. Now, if we change from red to blue, um, the images change to reflect the blue cars. Finally, we demonstrate the system on the task of in-painting or filling in missing pixels by conditioning on both the class and the context region. In conclusion, we propose plug and play generative networks um, for the task of conditional image generation. PPGN can generate high quality, high resolution images for ImageNet. Um, the same system can also be creatively conditioned on many different things like text, semantic mask, multiple neurons, uh, multiple networks, and so on. More information and code are available online. Please come by our poster number 31 um, for more discussions and results. Thank you.